What's going on guys, it's Craig Tector 60 today. I'm gonna to show you the Autopilot Precise Timer. All right guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on that video. Make sure you like, subscribe, let's get into it. So I wanna make this video just because I don't see a whole lot of videos and explanation on these things. And I was kind of curious when I ordered it, I was like, man, I don't know if it's gonna work for what I need. So I'm gonna basically unpack it and we're gonna take a look at it and see if it's what you need. All right, so first I got it because I've got a little project over here, as you see, uh, basically making like a direct injection air freshener thing for a big AC unit, or basically like a pump, and then this will be the reservoir to hold the air freshener, and it'll basically, I need something that'll intermittently uh, basically kick this pump on, but not where it runs all the time, and where I don't have to keep going back and turning it on. So that's what this is for. So when you open it up, the only thing that's in it is the timer itself, and instructions now these instructions they are like four or five different languages on it so you got instructions for everybody and then that's basically how it looks all right so looking at it up close here you got you basically got your on cycle you got your off cycle you got your daytime nighttime or 24 hour you got your photo cell and then you've got lock over here and then of course your power out so the back is obviously you just plug into a regular uh, 120 volt and what it is okay so off right here goes from one basically one minute all the way up to 14 hours okay one minute to 14 hours and there's a whole all these different settings you can set now what that means is that okay so i want this thing to go off every let's say 30 minutes so you'll take it and basically turn that knob to 30 minutes now if you are precise and you have to have exactly 30 minutes you may want to take like a stopwatch and just and after as soon as the cycle ends it'll um and then start counting just to make sure it is 30 seconds um and then and so on, when you plug it in you'll have a power light to let you know if there is power and then once it kicks on like it cycles on this little light will kick on to let you know that it is running but back to these so on the on the off is you'll set it for like 30 minutes okay so i want it to run every 30 minutes and let's say i only want it to run for let's say five seconds okay then you'll set it at five seconds and same thing if you're very particular on needing exactly five seconds no less or no more you may want to just kind of double check that with a stopwatch as it runs just to make sure all right so like let's say you want this thing to only run the daytime you can sit here and you can basically use the photos or uh, you can click it today um, and then it'll basically observe the photo cell with light on okay so it'll only run if it detects light or if you want it to run at night you can turn the little switch down and it'll basically when the photo cell doesn't detect light at all then that's when it'll run but for my application i want it 24 7 and then once you get all your dials set in where you want it you know um, like right now up top it's unlocked all right so then once you get everything set where you want it, you flip that switch down to the lock and that'll basically save all your settings. So if somebody comes in and starts messing with it by accident or gets bumped, it'll still keep the same settings until you unlock it. And then you'll probably have to go back and reset it because then it'll go to what the knobs are saying. So let's go ahead and plug it up and we'll give you kind of an idea how it works. So we'll plug it in. And so as you see, like I was saying, you see the light right here that tells you right there and that's all cycling on and off. But right there, it shows that it's power. So let's plug a little pump in and you'll hear the pump. It's not a traditional pump that you're used to hearing like a motor sound. It's a clicking noise. So I've got it set for about, I think it run, it kicks on about every minute and it runs for about a second. So I may speed this up to get back to it, but so you can see what I'm talking about here. So let's wait and watch. So now I want that thing to click twice. So then that means I need to Turn the time up just a bit. So let's go up just a smidge more. Cause I need it to click at least twice. Let's sit and wait and see if it works this time. So that was four times. So that means I'll need to basically back it off just a smidge more and just keep fine tuning it until it gets right where I want it. And then like I said, once you're done, get everything fine tuned to where you want it then you'll basically go here and just hit that lock and that'll save all your settings so that is the autopilot precise timer so like i said i only want to make the video because i didn't see a whole lot of uh, demonstrations on how it works or how to or how to use it so i just wanted to show you guys so y'all understand so you don't have the same questions i had ordering like uh, is it gonna work is it not i'm not sure all right so that is the video if you have any questions or comments comment below don't argue don't fight until next time.